you must come to the knowledge and the understanding that challenges and difficulties are part of life journey. It cannot be wished away, it cannot be delegated, it cannot be shifted away all through your life encounters, life endeavors, and life activities. Instead, you should learn how to overcome, how to defeat life challenges successfully and resultfully. First John chapter 4, verse 4. First John chapter 4, verse 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Based on this, I welcome you this day to Stepping Up. My name is still Sebastian Mwaneri, and we are starting a wonderful series titled Overcoming Life Challenges, Part 1. Overcoming Life Challenges, Part 1. And as you join us in this series and follow us through, the Lord Almighty will bless you greatly in the name of of Jesus Christ. Please let your friends be informed, your family members be informed of this wonderful expose in the Word of God. Yes, quick announcement. Our program for the month of April, our program for the month of April, the first one is Tongues of Entrollment. Tongues of Entrollment coming up on the 13th of April 2024. Tongues of Entrollment with the title Involving Your Mind in Prayer. Involving Your Mind in Prayer. The venue is at Ikeja and the program is free before the end of the program my email address uh, whatsapp numbers and phone number will be on your screen and let us discuss through those platform the second program in the month of april is what mental health workshop mental health workshop with the team the mystery of believing part two the mystery of believing part two and the date is the 20th of april 2024 20th april 2024 and the same venue at ikeja and it's still free uh, before the end of the program, my details will be on your screen for us to discuss. In fact, the part one of those of um, the mental health workshop with the team, the mystery of belief, was highly impactful and shocking. The scripture that shocked a lot of people is John chapter 6, verses 28 and 29. John chapter 6, verses 28 and 29. When they asked Jesus, uh, what is the work of God? What is the work of God? And he told them that the work of God is is to believe in him whom he has sent, is to believe in whom him he has sent. So, so the work, work, believing is a work on his own. I just want to encourage you to be around. It's free before the end of the program. Our details will be on the screen and let us discuss through those details. So we're going to be looking at overcoming life challenges and for those kind of information for you to come to know and come into the realization of it. We have to know according to Romans chapter 12 verse 21, Romans chapter 12 verse 21, he said, do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good. Do not be overcome by evil, but instead overcome evil with good. Why? You must come to the knowledge and the understanding that life challenges, life difficulties are part of your journey in life, are part of your life experiences. You cannot become anything without going through life challenges, without going through life difficulties, without going through through farming in the journey of life. Life challenges, they are real, they are sure, and it happens and occurs. The best thing to do is to learn skillfully how to defeat it, learn skillfully how to what? Overcome it, learn intelligently how to push it back, how to push it back. So we are going to like define and explain the concept of the discourse, which is overcoming life challenges. And if I'm going to explain it effectively and efficiently, I'm going to divide the topic into two. I'm going to first explain what is overcoming. Then we now look at what is life challenge itself, what is overcoming and what is life challenge itself. And we come together to what? To bring the title together because overcoming life challenges is just defeating opposition. Defeating opposition, defeating opposition. First John chapter 5 verse 4. First John chapter 5 verse 4. He said, for every child of God defeats this evil world by trusting in Christ to give the victory 
New Living Translation. First John 5, 4. Every child of God defeat this evil world. How? By trusting Christ to give the victory. New Living Translation. New Living Translation. So what is the meaning of to overcome? Overcome means to succeed in dealing with a well-defined situation and circumstances, life issue. What is overcoming? Overcoming is to control a problem that has been preventing you from achieving your defined goal and objective. What is overcoming? Overcoming is to um, overpower the opposition. Is to overpower the opposition and obstacles in the journey of life. What is to overcome? To overcome is to defeat, win any life issue, difficulty, or challenges that come your way in the journey of life. You must come to the understanding and realization how to overcome, how to defeat how to win, how to be victorious. Whenever you come in contact with obstacle, whenever you come in contact with opposition, what is to overcome? Overcome is to get the best victory out of every and any life challenge. What is to overcome? To overcome is to push against the pressure of life in the journey of life. What is to overcome? To push against, to push against, to push against the pressure of life. What is to overcome? To overcome means to conquer the life challenges skillfully. To conquer, to conquer the life challenges skillfully. And let me say this that is highly interesting, which we're going to look into as we go on this discourse and this journey. When you are an overcomer, there are, there are divine reward for being an overcomer. For you to overcome every situation and challenge that is thrown a few per time, you are shifted into the next level in the realm of the spirit. When you overcome, when you defeat, when you win, when you become victorious over obstacles, over famine, over peril, over trial and tribulation, over persecution, effortlessly and skillfully, you are moved into the next realm, into the next level, into the next chapter in the journey of life. And I pray that may God grant every of my viewers, listeners all over the world, the inner strength, inability, inner capacity to become an overcomer in the journey of life in the name of Jesus Christ. To become an overcomer, you must have cultivated, developed, grown your inner strength, stamina and stability to be able to confront, to face, to defeat any external force, any external obstacle, any external challenge. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 10. He said, if you faint, New King James, if you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. When you faint in the midst of opposition, that is adversity, your strength is small. In the context of this discourse, if you faint in the day of challenge, or challenges of life, your strength is small. New international version. If you flutter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? If you flutter in times of trouble, how small is your strength? New living translation. New living translation. If you fail under pressure, your strength is not very great. If you fail under pressure, pressure is real. Listen, many people are going through a lot of pressure, various form, various shade, various kind of pressure. If you faint, it means your strength is not what? Great. Your strength is small. Your strength is small. Learn how to do what? How to cultivate, how to develop, how to enlarge your strength. May that be your portion this day in the name of Jesus Christ. New American Standard Bible. If you are slack, 
in the day of distress, your strength is limited. They say when your strength is limited, when your capacity is limited, it has already defined, defined and determines what? Your position. It has already defined and defined what? Your, your what? Your trajectory, your movement, your advancement has been pegged when your strength is limited. Learn how to expand, learn how to enlarge, learn how to develop and cultivate what your strength. Learn to build strength from pain. Learn to build strength from weakness. Learn to build strength from challenges. Learn, from, learn to build strength under pressure. Learn to build and grow strength under pressure. Learn, learn, learn to build and grow strength under, under pressure. When we talk about strength, strength are in various forms. Strength are in kind, in, in sizes, in levels. We have about um, eight, eight of them here. The, these are the forms of strength. We have the spiritual strength. We have mental strength. We have emotional strength. We have financial strength. Or you can even say economic strength. We have relationship strength. We have the social strength. And we have what? The physical strength. The physical strength several forms and several levels of strength. The first one is spiritual strength. The second one is mental strength. The third one is your emotional strength. The fourth one is your financial or economic strength. The fifth one is what? Relationship strength. The sixth one is your social strength. While the seventh one is what? Is your physical strength. Your physical strength. Listen to Proverbs 24 verses 5 and 6. Proverbs 24, verses 5 and 6. A wise man is strong, yes. A man of knowledge increases in strength. Verse 6. For by wise counsel, you will wage your own war. By wise counsel, you will wage your own war. And in and in a multitude of counselors, there are safety. There is a safety. There are safety. So when they say for by wise counsel, wise counsel might not be physical counsel. Wise counsel might not be you having a counselor sitting opposite you. When they say in a multitude of counselors, there are what? Safety. You can be counseled through books. You can be counseled through what? Books. Through books through articles, through write-up, through, through things you are reading. So when you expose your mind to learning, when you expose your mind to reading, when you expose your mind to, uh, to understand documentation, you are being canceled. You are being canceled. So wise cancel enables you to wage war, your own war, against opposition, against stagnation, against limitation, against struggle, against pressure, against challenge, against life issues. Life issues. Life issues. So so to become an overcomer, an overcomer is someone that has been schooled. Je in le cascanto has been schooled to have inner strength, inner capacity, inner ability, inner stamina, inner energy, inner mental, mental strength, mental energy, mental what capacity to confront, to overcome, to be victorious over what oppositions. So what do we mean by what? Life challenges. What do we mean by life challenges? First John chapter 5, verse 19. First John chapter 5, verse 19. He said, For we know that we are of God, and the whole world lies under the sage. That means under the control of the wicked one. Under the control of the wicked one. Then 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 9. First Corinthians chapter 16. Verse number nine, what did he say? He said, for a great and effective door has opened to me, and there are what? Many adversaries, many adversaries, many adversaries. So greatness in life is not for the faint-hearted. Greatness in life is not for the faint-hearted. Hear me and hear me well. Christianity is not for the faint-hearted. 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 Greatness in life is not for the faint-hearted. According to Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 8. 
Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 8. He said, the officer shall speak further to the people and say, what man is there who is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return to his house, lest the heart of his brethren faint like his own. So faint-hearted people contaminate others. Bold people contaminate, so to say, the people that are weak. You can, cont you can contaminate people with boldness. You can influence them with your inner strength. You can influence them with your inner drive. You can influence them with your inner confidence. Let me tell you, before I don't want to jump my note, Life challenge <laughs> or challenges of life is part of life. Opposition is part of life. Difficulty, they are part of life. Famine, they are part of life. Struggle and stagnation, they are part of life. And we are going to look at, when we get there, we're going to talk about it, some causes. It is not satanic power alone that causes opposition. It is not satanic power alone that causes challenge when it comes to the issue in the journey of life. It is not satanic alone. It is not satanic power. It is not satanic manipulation. It is not satanic influence. When we get to that uh, point, just in a few minutes, you will come to realize, because I just feel like making us to understand, and hear me and hear me well. Challenge of life has an advantage. Challenges of life have benefit. They bring the best out of you. They make you to become what God has ordained you to be. May God grant you understanding in the name of Jesus Christ. May your best find expression. 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 May your best find expression in the name of Jesus. For you to become an overcomer of challenges of life. You must learn how to be comfortable in uncomfortable zone. Learn how to be comfortable, how to be comfortable, how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situation, in uncomfortable circumstances, in uncomfortable challenges. Life challenge is all, is all about life warfare. Life challenge is all about life warfare. For you to become victorious on earth, in every dimension, in every department, in every strata, you must learn and master how to be what? A fighter, a spiritual fighter. Because overcoming life issues, life challenges, life opposition, life obstacles is warfare. Warfare, warfare, warfare. It is only those that are ready to win the life warfare that are overcomers. These are people that have mastered the how to defeat life challenges. May you be one of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Life challenges are the obstacle, difficulty, adversity that you encounter, confront daily along your life journey. Is daily along your life journey. Let me say it again. Life challenges are the obstacles, difficulty, adversity that you encounter, that you confront, that you face daily along your life journey. Except you don't want to be anything. You don't want to think, you don't want to be anything, you don't want to become anything, you don't want to achieve anything, you don't want to be known for anything. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Life challenges is having the ability to face and confront opposition of your life in the journey of, li in the journey of life squarely for victory. You learn how to face and confront opposition for victory squarely in the journey of life. You having opposition is a proof that you have a position. You having a position is a proof you have a position. You having an obstacle is a proof you have a position. 
And you have to do everything possible within your power to possess your position. May you possess your position in the name of Jesus Christ. Every position that you have lost to carelessness, retrieve it back now in the name of Jesus Christ. Accomplish it back in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing shall separate you from the love of God. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Romans chapter 8, verse 35. Who shall separate you? Who shall separate us? Who shall separate your family? Who shall separate your business from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Is it this that will separate you from the kingdom of God? God forbid. So what are the causes, some causes of life challenge? What are the causes of life challenge? Understand, learn to always build strength from pain. Learn to always build strength from pressure. Learn to always build strength from failure. Learn to always build strength from what? From stagnation, from limitation, from challenges and difficulty. When this becomes your routine, when this becomes your habit, when this becomes your attitude, heaven have ordained you for the top. So some causes of life challenges Number one, satanic influence. When Satan is in picture to influence things to work wrongly against you. Number two, when life curveball is in place. Life curveball is when you have used your mouth attitude to just bring some things that you didn't expect that was not even in, 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 in your doorstep, in your environment. You just bring it. Based on wrong attitudinal behavior, you bring it into your space. Number three, a negative influenced environment or society. When you live in a negative influenced society, when you live in a negative influenced environment, when you live in a negative influenced land, a negative influenced neighborhood, you find yourself with some life challenges. Example, Noah. Noah didn't know that Sodom and Gomorrah was a, a, a negative or satanic influenced environment. He was carried away because of the lusciousness of the economy. <laughs> he was carried away by the beauty of the economy. He didn't know that the beauty of the economy was a bait to come into negatively influenced world. Influenced society, negatively influenced environment, negatively influenced land. And if you have made that wrong decision, heaven will grant you inner strength, courage, capability, and ability to, to, to retrace your step in the name of Jesus. Number four. Having an uninformed leader, having an unschooled leader, it can bring life challenge. I've seen wrong influenced, wrong uninformed leader, wrong unschooled leaders bring <laughs> farming into an organization. I've seen wrong schooled or uninformed leader as a husband that brought farming into their family. This young man went to steal in the Bible, according to the book of Joshua, and brought and brought Achan. Achan brought a curse upon his family, brought a curse upon the wife and the children. Went and steal, went and steal. At least a lady have asked me that pastor, why did they have to now bury the wife and the children alongside with him alive? They didn't go, or they didn't do what he did. And I told her that that is that's one of the pain of marrying wrong, not having the capacity to design a good leader, not having the capacity to design who should be your head, not having the capacity to emphasize that this wrong attitude, because if the wife had been correcting him at little, little things, suggestfully, they will not be there. Number five, wrong people relationship or wrong association. 
wrong people relationship or wrong association. Number six, ill judgment called by yourself. Ill judgment called by yourself. What is ill judgment called? Where you make wrong decision. Where you make wrong decision. Where you make unhealthy judgment call. It can bring life challenges into you. Please, I want you to understand that it's not all life challenge, life problem, life obstacle and difficulty, life adversity is not only satanic. Listen, your, the quality of decision you make is a product of the quality of intelligence available to you. The quality of your decision is the quality of knowledge, is the quality of understanding around you. That is why you should not stop growing, you should not stop learning, because your learning is your earning. Your learning is your earning. Your learning is your earning. Learn how to learn and unlearn and relearn things you have taught, you have learned. You shouldn't stop because it has a vital role to play in your life. Number seven, number seven, we are looking at the causes of life challenges. What are the things that cause these life challenges? Number seven, number seven, new level, new life challenge. New level, new life challenge. New level, new life challenge is, is, is part of what brings it. Pastor, what do you mean? New level means when you are promoted, <laughs> when you are promoted, the, envy, the people that envy you increases. When you are promoted, some people are not happy with you. When you are succeeded, people are not happy with you. When your appearance changes, people are not happy with you. So it attracts envy, bitterness, and jealousy. It attracts despair. It attracts despair. It attracts disorder. And it attracts backbiting. So what do you do when you are being promoted to the next level? You cover it with what? Warfare prayer. Specific warfare prayer. Specific pronouncement. Listen, I handled a case many years ago of a young man that was just being attacked by the landlady. Uh, the landlady was just an occultist. And what made the landlady to deal with the young man without the young man knowing? It's because the young man just got a job as a clerk. And as a clerk, you have to dress a shirt and you not a tie. And the guy was appearing nice, and the landlady got angry. I was like, why should she, why should he be dressing that way? He's, 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 he's posing to every one of them. Remember, remember what I told you. Remember Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil. Do not be overcome by evil. Do not be defeated by evil. Rather, defeat evil with good. Defeat evil with good. Point number eight. Number eight. The causes of what? Life challenge. Number eight. Enemies within the family. Enemies within the family. Enemies within the organization. Enemies within the establishment. Enemies within the environment. Enemies within the environment. Enemies within the environment. So now let's quickly just look at it. Next one, note, to overcome life challenges, we need to have what? We need to have these foundational fundamentals in place. To overcome life challenges, we need to have what? These foundational fundamentals in place. Number one, you must have, you must have a pure and positive mind towards life challenges. I'm going to stop here now, and I'm going to go for a break, and when I'm back, we'll continue. Don't change that diet. I'll be back. International Center. I believe that what you see and hear here will arouse your faith and your life will never remain the same. Challenge God using what you see here as a point of contact with your miracle.
Back to stepping up, my name is still Sebastian Nwaneri, and we are still looking at stepping up this, this day and with the title of Overcoming Life Challenges. Overcoming Life Challenges, part one. Before we went on break, I was talking about what are the fundamentals that must be in place for us to have an effective pursuit of defeating life challenges resultfully and in part and in part fully. But uh, if you are just joining us now, let's listen to the announcement for the program in the month of April. Announcement for the program in the month of April. The first one is the tongues of enthronement. Tongues of enthronement. Um, are coming up on the 13th of April, 13th of April 2024. The time is 8.30. Venues at Ikeja with the theme, involving your mind in prayer. Many of us pray we don't involve our mind in prayer. We are transformation impartation happens practically to us is in our mind. And where we lose the battle of prayer and warfare is still what? In our mind without we knowing. So number two, the second program in the month of April that is free is mental health workshop. Man, seriously, at this season, there's a lot of mental health challenges going around. Mental health challenges, and the first, the, the, the time we did the part one of this part two of this same topic. The feedback was highly interesting from the participants. Mental health workshop with the theme, the mystery of belief, part two. The mystery of belief, part two, coming up on 20th of April, 20th April, 2024. Time is 8.30 in the morning. Venue is at Ikeja. Before the end of the program, my details will be on your screen for you to follow and ask question is a free program or free programs and as you come the Lord Almighty will bless you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ yes uh, I, I had to discuss um uh, run this discussion on this topic through some friends, people around to ask if they have any question, what are the likely questions that they will be asking if they had the opportunity to phone in and listen to our uh, discourse. Some of them responded and which I'm going to use uh, as, as, as my point of answering um, uh, questions at uh, this, uh, this day. But before I go into that, we look into the fundamentals, the foundational fundamentals that must be in place for us to overcome life challenges. For you to defeat life challenges, these are the fundamentals that must be in place. Fundamentals that must be in place. Number one of them is that you must have a pure and positive mindset towards life challenges itself. What does it mean? It means that, that your heart must be void of offenses. Your heart must be void of bitterness, anger. Your heart must not be choked with any of these contaminating factors that will ensure that the, the potency of that mind or that focus is not what actualized. It must be positive not negative. What do I mean? It is not where you just see uh, uh, any life challenge. You will say this life challenge will defeat you. You will just believe that one is either you have seen or, or, or that it is demonic inspired. It is somebody that did it. Even if it is somebody that did it, learn to forgive those people. Learn to remove pain, bitterness, anger. Learn to remove backbiting. Learn to remove malice from your heart. Make it to be plain because because the good ground, the good ground only receive, only receive soil, only receive seed. And the good ground brings forth 30 fold, 60 fold, and 100 fold. Bad ground does not bring any fruit at all. Bad ground, bad, bad soil are the soil that have bitterness, murmuring, anger, and what? Complain. You are always complaining. You are just just like the way some people, your business has nothing to do with dollar. You are now become the 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 water of 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 the dollar rate. You know whether the word just focus your mind on the word on the word of God. Matthew chapter five verse eight. Matthew chapter five verse eight. Say, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 
Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall see God. They shall see the supernatural hand of God. They shall see the encounter if their heart is what? Pure. Number two, your thinking and reasoning towards the various form of life challenges must be positive, even with the people that cost it. Number two, your thinking, your reasoning about the life issues, about life challenges, about famine, about obstacle, about oppression, about persecution, about opposition, must be what? Positive. Because for you know, that you know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. What I've just read now is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. It came out of my subconscious mind. It came out of my subconscious mind. Romans 8, 28. When all these things come to that realization that we know, do you know? Let that knowing settle in your subconscious mind. Let that knowing that everything is working together for your good. Everything. When we talk about everything, it's everything. Everything is working together for your good. Know that everything, everything is everything. It's working together for your good. It's working together for the advancement. It's working together for your turnaround. It's working together for your encounter. Pastor, what else are you saying? If they have known, they wouldn't have crucified Jesus Christ. Because, because Jesus Christ, crucifying Jesus Christ was helping, was fulfilling the mandate of Jesus Christ. There are some challenges and difficulties that you are going through now. Without those challenges, without those difficulties, you may not get to the divine ordained destiny of God for your life. Pastor, what are you saying? If, Dave, uh, if Joseph was not sent to prison, Joseph might not have met the people that connected him to Pharaoh and from where he interpreted what? Their dream first. So, so if Joseph in, in, the, uh, in the prison was murmuring and complaining, going to prison was a life challenge. Number two, Joseph going to, life, uh, going to the prison was not a fault of his, not, was not a fault of what he did. What was it? It was a fault of what? Of unschooled leader. The wife of the leader, just taking advantage, just taking advantage. And God Almighty turned the supposed disadvantage, turned the supposed life challenge, turned the supposed what? Obstacle, the supposed adversity to become a stepping stone. May that be your testimony. May that be your testimony. May that be your reward. May that be your encounter. May that be your own joy by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. May that be your own joy by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this truth become a reality. Therefore, you know that all things work together. And let me tell you, one of the mistakes many of us do is that when, when life issue comes, when life curveball comes, when life challenges comes, we go to God with bitterness and anger in place of prayer. When you are praying in bitterness and anger, your heart is already, uh, is already contaminated. That's why when Jesus said that, look, 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 <laughs> if you are coming to give your arm and you remember that somebody offended you, go and ask for the person forgiveness. He said, forgive everybody before you come to pray. Forgive everybody. Let go of every bitterness. What is he saying practically? Let your mind be pure before assessing or uh, coming to me. Let your mind be pure. May God grant us grace for a purity in our mind, for a pure mind, for a cleansed mind mind to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. Number three, number three, you must always try to see the good in every and any life challenge that comes your way. See the good. That's what I'm explaining. See the good. See the good. 
when the challenge comes, see the good, the good. Because in every challenge, in every life issue, in every difficulty, there's a positive outcome and there's what? A negative outcome. Most of the time, many of us see, many of us dwell, many of us abide in the negative outcome. That's why it looks as if the negative outcome is always what prevails. What prevails is what we meditate, what prevail is what we constantly, continuously look at. What prevail is what we have what? What we have idolized in our mind. What we have imagined in our mind. What we have elasticated in our mind is what prevail, is what are the reality, the outward reality. Things we have imagined, things we have what? Things we have programmed from, from inside of us. Learn to do what? Learn to see the good. Learn to see the good. Because the scripture have told us a lot. Daniel went to the lion den, was thrown into the lion den because of what? Because of envy and jealousy. What was that? Those are people we call the wrong association, colleague, wrong colleague in the office, wrong colleague in the office, wrong colleague in the office, influenced environmental society. They threw him into the lion's den. But at the end of the day, that life challenge was a stepping stone to his next level. May every challenge of life, whatever you are going through now, become a stepping stone in the hand of the Lord Almighty. Become a stepping stone in the hand of the Lord Almighty. It becomes a stepping stone in the hand of the Lord Almighty. Moving you to the next level. Moving you to the next phase of your destiny. Moving you to the next chapter of your destiny. By the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ, you can never be stagnated. You can never be granted. You can never be limited by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your time. This is your season. This is your day. This is your time. This is your season. This is your day. Expand, enlarge, grow, advance, make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. The scripture is fulfilled. Proverbs 4.18. Proverbs 4.18. The path of a just man is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The path of a just man is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. The path of a just man is a shining light that shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus. Yes, let me just post and see if I can take one or two questions from the people I, I, I discussed with. One of them, I shared it with him. He said, he said, Pastor, okay, you are talking about overcoming life challenge, overcoming life challenge. If the people creating the life challenge are your family member, are your family member, there is nothing you do they are pleased with. There, is, there are nothing you do that satisfy them. In your supposed good, they see, they see bad things. So what do you do? Should you continue <laughs> or run away <laughs> or walk away? Well, when the person asks the question, I say, well, um, <laughs> very good practical question. You don't need to run away. You don't need to run away, especially if you have nowhere to go. And number two, if you don't have money, uh, you are still depending or dependent on them at that particular time. Uh, I, 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 I would just tell you, God allowed such to happen because of where you are going to in life. God allowed such to happen because of where you are going to, because it's a training. It's a training. There is nothing in this life Everything you go through, there is nothing in this life that is not needed towards where you are going to. There is nothing in this life that, that is not needed. Even when you didn't even know that you are going to be this or that or that, God already, that have seen the end from the beginning, have already prepared you and, and polished you. What you just need to do, you have to just be positive minded. You have to be positive conscious. One, learn how to go through those pain without being insultive. If they, if they are your parents, if they are your elder ones, which they might be, learn to go through it without being, being insultive. 
Learn to go through it without being angry and bitter with them. Why? There is a lesson in life they are teaching you. There is a lesson of life they are teaching you. If you are a brother, because she's a sister, if you are a brother, you don't know the kind of in-law you are going to get into. Number two, you don't know the kind of uh, um, roommates you are going to have in school. Number three, you don't even know the kind of organization you are going to work with. You don't know the kind of organization you are going to work in. You don't know the kind of boss you are going to have. Because, please hear me, the Bible that says in Romans chapter 8, verse 28, is deep. For we know that all things work together for good. It's not only in the morning. It's not only in the afternoon. It's not only in the evening. For we know, for we know. It's an inner knowing that all things, all things is not when you are young. All things is not when you are an adult. All things means all things. At any time, at anywhere, at any place, it meets you. You learn to, you learn to humble because, listen, um, 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 it, it is developing an experiential encounter that is a reference point in your journey of life. Now, now. David, okay, Joseph, sorry, Joseph that was dealt with by his brothers. Did they ever believe in their widest imagination that they were doing the bidding of God? They didn't know. Just at 17. What will you feel at the age of 17? And your family member, do you know the betrayer? You will never love again. Some will withdraw. Kabayan to skip. Let me say this. Let me say this. Because I just remember now, I keep on forgetting, but thank God the Spirit of God reminded me. I'm going to, I'm going to give you a practical example, because this teaching is a teaching, uh, is a practical teaching that must reveal to us things we need to do, things we need to practice in this season, in this season and segment of our life to get to the next level. I have three things. I have three things. Number one, I have, I have, um, I have um, a carrot, I have an egg, and I have what? A coffee seed. Three of these different elements or items are going to go through the same process in life, which is called life challenge. What is that life challenge? A hot water. They are going to go through a hot water experience. Now, the first one to go through the hot water experience is an egg. An egg is very fragile. It's very fragile, delicate to handle. This represents people that are fragile and delicate before they come in contact with issue of life, which is hot water. When you pass an egg through the issue of life, which is hot water, it comes out at the other side, hardened, hardened, hardened. They become, they become callous. They become wicked. That's the interpretation of hardness. They become callous. They become, they, 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 they become emotionless. Is that anything like that? Or they lack emotion. They lack feeling. That is it. They are now deadened to pain. They are deadened to compassion. They are deadened to emotional feeling. That's the meaning. They deal with everybody brutally. Now, you have allowed life issue, life challenge, life difficulty, life, life, life adversities, life persecution, life trials and tribulation to change the dynamics of who you are to what you are not. Those are the category of people in the egg region. The second one is carrot. Carrot is already hard. That is, 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 is hard, which is still the opposite. The hardened people, the callous people, people that are brutal, people that lack emotion, people that lack feeling, people that lack care. Now, they go through the life issue known as hot water. Hot water runs through them, goes through their pathways. Their end product is what? They allow the hot water to do what? To convert them. People going through things and issues of life have allowed life challenge, life adversity, difficulty, trials and tribulation to do what? To change them to become who they are not. Kayanduske, every tuske, tebre, elagaba. A new them has come out without what? Without their cooperation. So the carrot that was sergeant has come out of the other end after going through life issue, which is hot water, to become very soft. Have you seen life? Now, the third category of 
the experiment is what I want us to be, which is the coffee seed, which is coffee seed. What is coffee seed? Coffee seed is somebody that has a seed inside of him. What is the seed? Luke 8, 11. Luke 8, 11 talks about the word of God as a seed. Where you pass coffee seed through the life challenge. What is the life challenge? Hot water. What happens? The coffee seed influences the hot water. That's what I mean by overcoming life challenge. The coffee seed influences the hot water to, according to his own direction, according to his own dictate, according to his own desired expectation, according to his own resolve. He influences everything from beginning to the end. They become his own. To be, they, they become what he wants them to be. So, are you a coffee seed? Are you a carrot? Are you an egg? When I said this to the lady, the lady was like, wow. So, it's your choice. It's your choice. Joseph went through, he went through, and came out better. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego went through the very furnace of, of fire and moved to the next level. So what are your own challenge? What are your own difficulty? What are you going to come into? What are you going to come into? Those are my numbers on your screen now. Just send me your question. Send me your, uh, 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 your observation. And uh, my email address will soon be on your screen and my WhatsApp number, let's discuss. And I say that Lord Almighty bless you as you do, as I begin to round off our discourse this day. Don't forget about the announcement, the program for the month of April. On the 13th of April, we have what? Tongues of Entrollment. 13th of April, Tongues of Entrollment with what? With Evolving Your Mind in Prayer. That's the title, and it is free. And what? The Mind uh, Mental Health Workshop coming up on the 20th of April, a week after. 20th of April, all the programs are at Ikeja, and they are free. They are free. 20th of April, the theme is The Mystery of Belief, Part 2. The Mystery of, of Belief, Part 2. And I'm waiting to read from you, and I'm waiting to hear your question and I'm waiting to discuss with you and as you do that Lord Almighty bless you greatly in the name of Jesus Christ I want to appreciate everyone that have made this telecast a reality I want to appreciate the camera crew the engineering department the people at the MCR people at the VCR I say God bless them all God bless my producer for making this a reality God bless Dove Television God bless the redeemed Christian Church of God for the platform and I also want to appreciate you my wonderfully esteemed viewers all over the globe for you granting us grace access to your space access to your face access to your gadget and access to yourself i said god bless you remain blessed and god almighty will transform everything that concerns you they will impart you and move you to the next level you will succeed you will excel you will come out of challenges knowing what to do you will now become an apostle of the overcomers sharing and teaching people what to do to come out that will be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That you will succeed, you will excel, you will shine, move from glory to glory, from enlargement to enlargement, from expansion to expansion, from progress to progress by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. That my name is Master Wanneri, signing out. Remain blessed and blissful till I come your way. God bless you.